Hi guys, it's Lara. Thank you all for watching. In today's video, I'll be talking about how I knew that my stomach was healing from my chronic gastritis and how I was sure that I was ready to reintroduce also some other foods rather than just my diet. This is kind of a follow-up video to my previous video in which I have been talking about how I healed my gastritis while still on a vegan diet. So if you are new here or if you simply missed the video, I'll link it down below in the video description. And today's video is also partially a response to one of the comments. Nikki wrote that she's literally scared to try some other foods and she wanted to know what was my experience, how I knew that it was okay to eat something else. And I thought it would be the best to just sit down because I'm pretty sure this is gonna be interesting, not just for Nikki, but also for many others. So let's jump right into this. For me personally, the main sign that showed me that I was getting better, that I was healing, was the fact that my symptoms were getting better. I talked about my symptoms in my previous video and they simply started improving and eventually they were gone. So for me it was in total seven months, but just because it has been seven months for me doesn't mean that that's gonna be the same for anybody else. We all are individuals and our bodies are different, so some people can heal probably faster and some people will maybe need a little bit more time than I needed, so that's really important to keep in mind. Especially at the beginning and through, I would say, like the first three months, I've been following my gastritis diet religiously. I would not deviate from it at all. I just did not dare to do that. And whenever I felt like I wanted to try a few varieties of some of the recipes that I had, I would always ask my nutritionist ahead. So let's say I wanted to swap certain vegetables or fruits or spices, I would always ask her first because I simply did not want to experiment. I was afraid I would make things even worse. There was one exception, there was one thing I was not ready to live without though. Probably not the best choice, but it just felt so good and that was dark chocolate. Obviously vegan dark chocolate, but I just needed it. It was most likely because my body was craving the calories. One of the symptoms that I had was that I felt very quickly full even when I had just a few bites. And I'm physically very active. I am outside every single morning for about two hours with our husky. I go to my boxing training three to four times a week and I usually take my bike there so you can imagine how many calories I burn. So I think that my body was probably signaling, please give me calories and obviously sugar is a very good access uh, when it comes to calories. Not the healthiest, but it just it just felt so comforting for me. So that was one thing I shouldn't have eaten. And I do have to wonder whether I could have healed a little bit faster if I wouldn't have been eating dark chocolate and if I would have just eaten a few bananas instead. But again, I'm, I'm a human being just like anybody else and I do have to have some bias. Once my symptoms were completely gone, I started feeling comfortable enough to experiment on my own. However, I would always do it in baby steps. So basically always introduce just one thing at a time just to see how my stomach would take it. And I would always wait a bit for the feedback from my body and react accordingly. So usually the way I do it is that in the morning I just stick to my oats, which is always the safest way. So it's usually one of the recipes from my diet. And then I'll have something new for lunch, something savory or something with, let's say some fry foods or whatnot, or maybe even a coffee. And then I always see a bit later what my stomach thought about that. And then for dinner, I would always have uh, my usual soups with either tempeh or chickpeas, or sometimes just a soup, but uh, I would eat two bowls to be really full. I honestly really grew fond of having soups in the evening. They are so easily digested and I always sleep so well afterwards and they just taste great. So I think I'm gonna do that long term. Of course, I'll make occasionally exceptions, but I think it's a really good thing. And there are so many great soups that you can cook, right? like really thick soups that are more, more like a one pot meal than a soup, but it's just, I just really like that. I already also had some raw foods. So I had a few times a wrap where there was cabbage and fresh carrots and some lettuce inside. As long as I ate that stuff for lunch and not in the evening, it was not an issue. In the evening, it doesn't feel like a good idea. And one time I had a salad and I made a mistake. I ate the salad really late. It was practically dinner time and that 
simply did not agree with my stomach. And I do wonder, was it the salad itself or was it the time of the day? And I really think it was more the time of the day because again, when I had these wraps for lunch, it was not an issue. So I'll try and have a salad in a few days with my lunch and I'll see how it feels. But in general, that's how I did it and that's how I still do it whenever I feel like, okay, I could eat this or that. I'll have it usually around lunch or for a late snack rather than in the evening because if I would end up having irritated stomach, I would not sleep so well. I'm pretty sure many of you love coffee. I was never a huge coffee drinker, but I really wanted to try one after a while. So the first coffee that I had was an almond latte where there was just a very small amount of coffee in it and the rest was uh, almond milk. I just wanted to be on the safer side and it was fine. So a bit later I tried an espresso a few days later and that was also okay. I do have to say this week I believe I reached my limit with coffee because I got a little cocky and I had coffee almost every day and I feel like mm, that was probably too much so you will have to listen to your body and of course everybody's experience is gonna be different. I don't want to generalize here but that's just my personal experience. So this week I will skip the coffee for the rest of the week, but next week I'll have probably one or two. And other than that, I'll drink my rooibos tea with almond milk or like with homemade hazelnut milk. So basically baby steps, always one thing at a time and you will still need a lot of patience for this. It is a process and I also personally see my gastritis diet as a great uh, way how to improve my diet long term because I see this type of cooking, which is actually pretty similar to the type of how I have been cooking before, but I got some new ideas, some great new inspiration and I want to stick to this type of eating because it really feels so great and safe and then I don't have to worry that whenever I'll have some junk food or a coffee that I would have any setbacks. Now, as it's getting warmer, I will definitely experiment a little bit with different salads uh, around the lunchtime to see what's gonna work. But I do have to say, even though I love salads, I don't feel like I'm missing out because I personally love cooked foods and savory foods, plus, I have excellent blood scan. I recently had my blood scan done again, which is something I'm doing once a year. And my doctor was even joking that uh, they wished that everybody would have as good results as I have, that I'm super fit. So that's good to hear. And one thing I also noticed, I forgot to mention that, is that I'm craving way less chocolate right now, which is also a good sign. And it's probably partially because now I can eat again normal amounts. But that's all I have to say at this point. If you have any further questions, simply write them in the comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can and I will answer to the best of my ability. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I will keep filming my what I eat in a day video so that you can see what I'm eating in general. And thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you guys very much. God bless you and see you soon. Bye.